welcome to my channel this is forest genius thank you for watching the video i'm just going to drop a little bit secret on how to trade on nasdaq at 3 30 south african time and namibia time so uh, those trader if you are watching this video from south africa you know what i'm talking about or if you uh, you are watching the video from namibia and other uh, part of africa you know what i'm talking about so as you know at 3 30 pm the volatility of nasdaq used to to become too high you understand because at 3 30 uh as well by uh, those big companies that used to move nasdaq uh, they used to act maybe uh, in the next video i will drop also uh i will elaborate those big companies in of america united states that used to drive the price of nasdaq so we are not the what uh, as you can see right now this is nasdaq that we are killing right now or uh, in very very deep profit and this signal was sent at 330 in my vip group so as you can see here i'm not using any indicator i'm not using any indicator it's just pure price action so guys a 330 if you want to to trade this nasdaq because many people used to blow account many people used to blow account around this time when nasdaq is becoming uh too volatile the volatility become too much in the market so people that can't predict the news people that don't know how to trade fundamental they used to blow account you understand but what I can just, uh, just a little advice and I will just go in details in the next video. You need to learn press action, guys. Become, just be, just try your best to learn press action, you understand. Press action is, is the key in this industry, is the key in this industry. Start your top, uh, your top down analysis on higher time frame before before 3 30 you need to to do analysis first analyze technically on higher time frame start on weekly time frame you understand see the last candle on weekly time frame then interpret that candle as you can see here let me just zoom we are on weekly time frame let me just uh, zoom in so you can see how the week ended you can see the week closed with a pin bar a long pin bar you understand a long pin bar how the sellers they got trapped here you understand you can see how the price how the sellers drove down the price how they drove down the price you understand but they couldn't resist then they couldn't resist then you can see how the price started the buyers started to push up the price started to to push up the price started to push up the price and those people that they were selling nasdaq last week and they couldn't uh close their profit this is how they blow account this is how they blow account you understand so they blow account they blow account and until the week ended in with a a bearish pin bar you understand so someone who analyzed who did maybe is a uh, market overview during the uh, the weekend like sunday before the market opened once he spots this candle here this candlestick he knew already what he is gonna be looking at on this new week you understand guys you you know already what you're gonna be looking exactly in the market you don't you don't just jump in just like that in the market so you need to know like since this candle since uh the week closed with a pin bar on this on the resistance level you understand guys so that is a clear a clear buy now how the hell you can come and sell this nasdaq imagine many people they chat they even chat me up like oh bra i'm i'm telling you man uh, i'm in big shit i sold nasdaq but how the hell how on this earth you can just open your order and risk your account you sell nasdaq 
on weekly time frame you already see a pin bar there hmm? on this f how can you do that you understand so learn plus action learn the price action know the language of the market and you'll make money in this industry guys then since you know already what you're gonna be looking at in the market so like me i knew i'm gonna be looking for buys opportunities so no no matter how the price can you can now go in you can now go in uh, lower time frame now no matter how the price can try to move in uh, in uh, london section uh, in the opening of when the market open guys just be patient and until you find your entry your buy entry then you can execute your trade you understand you need to be patient a bit because if you are, you are not uh, enough you don't pay patient enough in this uh, in this industry there's no way for you to make money you understand so you can see how sellers they were trapped in the london section those that are they those that are they they even sold nasdaq they chat me up they sold nasdaq before 330 how they blow account you understand how they blow account and then after look still the same thing which formed here on 30 minute time frame you can see a pin bar there you can see it i hope you can see it there you understand so we got the same confirmation which we saw on weekly time frame you saw it on 30 mini time frame guys and i couldn't hesitate to take my buy entry and put my stop loss just too close i couldn't i didn't want to 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 risk more i didn't want to to risk a lot guys so you can see my stop loss is very tight too tight then now look how we are milking this shit. you understand so look how we are milking nasdaq now so that is just a little bit tip on how to trade nasdaq fundamentally you need to 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 find to look on price action first before 330 if you used to trade nasdaq around 330 you need before 330 let me ju let me just say from 2 oh, from 2 pm you need to start to uh, to look for for opportunity you need to start to 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 look for those uh plus action that can give you confirmation for you to sell or buy the market and where to look them look them on support and resistance look them on supply and demand zone once you look them there once you see a, a, a candlestick which is forming on the support or resistance and you know how it is it it, 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 it tells you guys don't hesitate you can go on with your buy you understand you can go on with your buy so that is uh let me just lock some of my profit here let me just lock my profit 15 28 0 58 let me just lock my profit here guys 15 yeah i think they i'm good to go 15 so i'm gonna lock my profit i'm gonna lock my profit let me just lock my profit
15 27 7 72 yeah i think how to go 15 27 7 72 so guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the video and i'm going to drop this uh, strategy now uh, i'm going to talk this uh, about this strategy in details on the next video now how you can now predict the news around 3 30 when it comes to uh, to trade nasdaq just stay tuned uh tuned. if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification so you can know when i'm posting new videos so you can learn i believe you're gonna learn a lot to this channel and also don't forget to comment put your comment below and let us know which video you would like us to talk about thank you for watching